Siddle of the Center for Innovation Design and Digital Learning and their efforts to improve faculty capacity to use educational technology has created a series of resources. And one is the series of Siddle blogs. And yes, many of us have used blogs, maybe created our own blogs, definitely read blogs. Our blogs at Siddle focus on a number of different topics and of course, focus in on our live events, resources affiliated with our live events, and everything in between. What I wanna do here for a few minutes is kind of give an overview of the variety of things that we do on our Siddle blogs. And to begin with, our Siddle blogs focus in on application to education preparation. So every blog focuses in on whatever the topic is, how's it applied to educator preparation. Next, every blog focuses regardless of the topic on, hey, here are some questions to think about to then join our personal uh, professional learning communities in respect to our PLCs on that topic. So for example, the screenshot over there is talking about assistive technology and reading. And of course, the blog itself will have questions to bring the users over to the PLC for further ongoing uh, engaging conversation. Now, our stakeholders are a variety of different users. Primarily, we're focused in on our faculty, so university college faculty, involved in the preparation of a number of different personal preparation areas. Now, of course, we'll get uh, visitors that are state educational leaders, we'll get visitors from pre-K through 12 environments, et cetera, et cetera. Our topics are quite varied, but primarily on instruction, design, and research. Now, we also cover live events, webinars, and some of our other series that I'll highlight as we go along. Each blog itself, of course, provides a title, an abstract, and then, of course, it offers, depending upon the topic, a summary of information, tips and tools, resources. In this instance, it actually provides a video of an actual live event. This was an hour live event that brought together stakeholders from across the country. And this was on the Affinity Group, which I'll mention here in just a moment. But because it was actually recorded, it's archived within the blog as the blog shares additional resources and other information. That's quite unique, but those would be blogs for our live events. Now, we also have our blog structured on a series of topics. So each series, and I'll share some examples in just a moment, will then have blogs that first explain the topic, and then subsequent blogs that break down or chunk information. And of course, each blog will share information about research, as well as tips and strategies to go further. So for example, I've mentioned the affinity groups. The affinity group is a, a creation of the Cedar Center, and Siddle has partnered with the Cedar Center. And for six months, in 2021, 2022, we had a, a variety of topics all focused in on online learning uh, and teacher preparation, education preparation for online learning for the K-12 classroom. And that is our educators now are doing more and more online, hybrid, remote, distance education in the K-12 setting. What skills do they need to have? What, what do we need to do in their preparation that might be different from the face-to-face? -face? For example, this one focused in on the family. And that whole communication between home, school, home, school, home has radically changed uh, due to the pandemic. And what does that mean? And of course, as we talked about the affinity group live, we recorded it and then we had a series of blogs that not only featured the actual archive footage, but then lots of resources and topics and things of that nature, as well as questions to go on to the PLC. Now, a non-live event was our AT. We've, we've covered and we continue to cover issues on assistive technology. And in this instance, we talk everything from data tools to writing, reading, uh, the set framework, etc. And each one, of course, the relevancy of research as well as ideas to apply tomorrow in our efforts to prepare our educators. Another blog series is a uh, blog series on accessibility of learning management systems. So this one was a, uh, was on accessibility in general, focusing on LMSs as, as, as part of the, the area, because of course, so much of what we do is in Blackboard or Canvas or Schoolology or whatever it may be. So the relevance there and an ongoing series that chunked information for us to be better understood, resources, tips and strategies, et cetera. I could go on and on and on, but. For the moment, that's a brief overview of the variety of resources that are available under our CIDL blogs, how we've structured things, the stakeholders that we've trying to engage, and everything else. Feel free to visit the CIDL website at CIDL.org for additional information.